Hello dear students, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss most important theorems of set theory. With the help of this theorem, we can easily solve real life problems of set theory and also helpful for probability. So now let's just start with addition theorem. Suppose that if you have two non empty set A and set B and you want to find number of set A union B, then this is equals to number of A plus number of B, but here this part are added twice. So we can simply subtract this part and this part is equals to A intersection B. So we can simply subtract and A intersection B. And suppose that if these two sets are disjoint set, then what is the value of an A union B? In this case, an A union B is equal to number of A plus number of B and here no any common area. So simply this is equal to an A plus and B. So this is equal to and suppose that if you have a three non-empty set, then we can also write an A union B union C and this is equal to an A plus and B plus and C and here we can see that these common area are added twice. So simply we can subtract this common region. So this common region are A intersection B. So simply we can subtract minus N A intersection B and this is the common region of A intersection C and this is the common region of B intersection C. So simply we can subtract N A intersection C and B intersection C. But we can see that this area are also part of this Venn diagram. So we can add N. Basically this is the common portion of all three non empty set. So we can write A intersection B intersection C. So I hope you understand the concept of addition theorem. So now let's solve some basic and important problem based on this concept. So question says that in a committee 50 people speak French and 20 speak Spanish and 10 speak both language means Spanish and French. Then how many people speak at least one of these two language? This problem can be solved two types. First by using addition theorem formula and second with the help of Venn diagram. So I am a first method ki help se ise solve karta hun. Given total number of people speak French language is equal to 50 and total number of people speak Spanish language is equal to 20. Here F represent French language and S represent Spanish language. And total number of people speak both language is equal to means French intersection Spanish is equal to 10. Then how many people speak both language or hum log cha rahe hain ki hame waise people ka collections chahiye jo inme se kam se kam koi ek language bolta ho means f union s aur ye kiske equal hota hai n f plus n s abhi hum logo ne addition theorem mein isko discuss kiya tha to ye kiske equal ho jayega 50 plus 20 minus 10 and this is equal to 60 so total 60 people speak at least one of these two language and this is our answer. This problem also solved with the help of Venn diagram. So suppose that this is the set of people who have speak French language and this is the set of those people who have speak Spanish language and this is the set of those people who have speak both language means French and Spanish. So what is the value of this part? 10 so this is equal to 10 and 50 people speak French but these 10 peoples are belong from this area so value of this part is equal to only 40 and 20 people speak Spanish but 10 peoples belongs to this area so this is equal to 10 so total how many people 40 plus 10 plus 10 and this is also equals to 60. So total 60 people speak at least one of these two language means France and French and Spanish and this is your answer. I hope you understand this solution very well. 
but if you have any doubt or you have any confusion then you can comment in the comment section now let's see the another problem based on this concept in a group total 70 people and 37 like coffee and 52 like tea and each person like at least one of these two drinks so how many people like both coffee and tea a given 37 people like coffee here she represent coffee and tea represent tea and 52 people like tea then how many people like both means coffee and tea and also given this groups total 70 people so c union t is equal to 70 and we know that the value of this is equal to nc plus nt minus n c intersection t so this is equal to 70 and value of this is equal to 37 plus 52 minus n c intersection t and after simplifying we got and c intersection t is equal to 89 minus 70 and this is equal to 19 so total 19 people like both drinks and this problem we can also solve with the help of Venn diagram suppose that this is represent those people who have like coffee and this is the group of those people who have like tea and this is the group of those people who have like both coffee and tea so total 70 people but 37 people like coffee and 52 people like tea but we have on total 70 people only but some of these two number are 89 that means we got 19 extra people so 19 extra people belongs to this category so what is the value of this 37 minus 19 this is equal to 18 people like coffee and 19 people like both coffee and tea and 33 people like only tea so with the help of Venn diagram concept you can also solve this type of problem so i hope you understand the concept of Venn diagram and addition theorem and i hope this video are helpful for you so please subscribe to my channel and also share with your friends and thank you so much for watching this video and after that you are able to solve ncrt exercise 1.6 so please try to solve this exercise and if you have any doubts or any confusion you can write in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video